What's going on, y'all? This is Tucker Pacino. Uh, man, look. This article is kind of like weird, but I, I like it, but it's, it's, it's hypocritical, you Because know? if we really want to be honest, right? I mean, what is this going to make black women wear natural hair now? I mean, it's a small amount of black women that wear their natural hair in the first place. California becomes the first state to ban discrimination based on one's natural hair. Take a look at this. It's not even young women. I say they're about 30. At least 30. Some of them are at least 40. It's not a young woman in this. And then, you know, look at the white guy with the smile. Hey, look at that. That's weird. Governor Galvin Newsom, Center signs of legislation by state senator holly mitchell of los angeles third from the right okay black <laughs> okay <laughs> that's hilarious that bans workplace and school discrimination against black people for wearing natural hairstyles including i have to put including locks and braids really word okay anyway California just became the first state to outlaw racial discrimination based on hairstyle. Governor Galvin Newsom on Wednesday signed a bill into law that legally protects people in workplaces and K-12 public school, K-12 public school, that's kindergarten to 12th grade, public schools are from discrimination based on their natural hair. The new law, which takes effect January 1st, prohibits the enforcement of grooming policies that disproportionately affect people of color, particularly black people. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, this includes bands of certain styles such as afros, braids, twists, cornrows, dreadlocks, and locks for short. Newsom said the need for protection entered the national political consciousness in December when a referee forced a black wrestler for a New Jersey high school to cut his dreadlocks and forfeit his his match. Did y'all catch that? <laughs> a black wrestler for a New Jersey high school to cut his dreadlocks. So a male, a male, because you know, let let it be known, black men are more natural than black women in. In the in the country we live in, let's just we ain't gonna front like that. How many guys out there really wearing their natural hair? A lot of us, even the ones with locks. Do guys put extensions in their hair? Of course, but a lot of them wear natural locks. So, anyway, that in, that indignity forced the students to choose whether to. Lose an athletic competition or lose his identity, Newsom said. This is played out in the workplaces and it's played out in schools. It's not just in athletic competitions and settings. Every day, all across America, in ways that are subtle, in ways overt, Newsom said, during a morning bill signing ceremony at the Capitol in Sacramento. All right. The Crown Act which passed unanimously in both California Assembly and Senate as traits historically associated with race to the state's list of classifications protected from discrimination, including race, sex, religion, color, national origin, disability, and sexual orientation. Supporters have said that the legislation's acronyms reflects its intention, creating a respectful and open workplace for natural health. The bill's author, Senator Holly Mitchell, and she's a Democrat, <laughs> go figure, said the, said the new protection provides all Californians the right to wear natural hairstyles without fear of repercussions. Students will be able to go back to school, workers do their jobs without feeling pressure to change their appearance based on someone else's comfort level. Stop the bullshit, man. That's a lot of black women are not wearing their natural hair because they don't want to. And I'm going to send this damn video to my, my, my good friend, uh, Scooby, who refuses to wear her natural hair. We saw her natural hair for the first time, and she had openly admitted it's my first time doing it. And she did not like it, but she got so many good compliments. So sometimes it's just women themselves who keep themselves from doing something they're supposed to do, which is wear the hair that you have. Anyway.
For us, it is a symbol of who we are. I knew when I was, when I locked 15 years ago, pretty much that made dreadlocks. I knew it was both a social and political statement to the outside world, Mitchell said. Mitchell wrote the proposed legislation, SB 188, and before the Senate unanimously passed it, she described the bill's purpose as twofold, to dispel myths about black hair, its texture and the black hair experience to challenge what constitutes professionalism in the workplace. The bill has inspired similar legislations in other regions. New York City officially banned natural hair discrimination in February, saying that hairstyles are protected under the city's existing anti-discrimination laws because policing black hair is a form of pervasive, wait a minute, <laughs> pervasive racism and bias. Lawmakers in New York and New Jersey also proposed legislation modeled after the Crown Act in June. <sighs> this is bullshit. So is this going to change anything? Are we going to stop buying weave? Is that going to be uh, a, a small decrease in monetary spending? Is the funding for weave and unnatural things, uh, is that going to go down? Are we going to see a dr drastic change? Being that it's 2019, I, I expect every, because I, 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 I refuse to believe that states are really pushing women from not wearing natural hair. It's a small fucking fight because it's a small fight amongst yourselves as black women. Now you can argue with me all you want. How many natural women will come here and defend you? A lot of natural women themselves call it a journey. They call it a struggle. They call it a fight. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Damn shit ain't got nothing to do with these laws. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, 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 whatever, uh, whatever, whatever's clever. <laughs> this picture's hilarious, though. I ain't gonna lie. I pay attention to the psyche. These some beautiful women. They're beautiful women. Let me see. I can't, I can't, that chick to the right is all right. Well, she's cute. She's chubby, but she's cute. Who's the best looking woman on this picture? I say the one to the left. Far left. The tall one on the right is is, is second. Even the Democrat chick is kind of cute. Okay, I'm, I'm talking too much now. Tell me what y'all think. I'm out. <laughs> hmm. Now that's a lucky Pacino certified. Chicken. And corn. <laughs> ah, he wants to eat. <laughs> I live for this shit. Why'd you stay a business, boy?